So previously I tested out the most wished for items on Amazon. So I tried quite a few categories, but not hair. So I'm going to be testing five hair products throughout the week. And I'm going to a wedding, I'm going to be flying. There's going to be a lot of things happening this week. So we're going to see how these hair products can help me out. So we can see if these products are really worth wishing for. So I'm on Amazon right now, I'm in the most wished for category. Let's scroll down and find hair. So I'm in the hair care section, so there's like shampoo, there's conditioner, there's styling products, there's hair coloring products. So first I'm going to go into the hair styling tools and appliances. Okay, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, like that purple shampoo for like blonde, so then it keeps their hair, you know, not brassy and stuff like that. Then I was like, this is a brush. Why would you want a brush? And then I read it, scalp master shampoo brush in the shade purple. This is 350. I just kind of scrolled down into like the questions and answers, and I read, if you dislike scratching your scalp with your nails, then this tool is a good choice for you. It's for distributing the shampoo very well. Oh my gosh, I am so getting this. I sometimes get like slightly itchy scalp. I feel like kind of everyone does. So yes, I'm totally getting this. Ooh, what is this? This is the Bedhead Wave Artist. I've totally seen this before. So it kind of like gives you like this like beachy wave. It looks really interesting. I think I'm gonna add that to the cart, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that. There might be something more interesting, but it seems cool. And it's really wished for, it's number five. So I'm now in hair accessories. I'm always trying to figure out how to like tie my headband or like a bandana in this kind of knot, but it never works. So look how clever this is. It comes like untied and then you tie it yourself. So brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna get some. So I believe I get three solid colors. That's what it's saying right here. But I'm, uh, I'm not sure what they mean by that, like which colors. But hey, it's a little surprise. This looks so cute. Hold up. Oh my gosh, what is this? These are like little moon, little mouth, little triangle, like clips. That is really cute. Okay, I'm thinking I actually might get this. I think I'm gonna go with the little triangle. I think the triangle looks really, really cute. And then this is really popular right here. It's like number three in all of hair care. There is coconut oil in here, but you know what? That's okay. I can I can deal with it. At least it's just on my hair. I'm gonna get this. Honestly, I have pretty dry hair, so I love to put this like on the tips of my hair. I believe you like rinse it out. It's like a deep conditioner, and then you rinse it out. So I think I'm gonna get this. Cause I feel like the little triangle pin is very like, you know, tiny and dainty. I wanna try something else out. This right here, which is a straightening brush. I'm getting it. So I have everything in the cart and I'm gonna order it. So the week begins. I just got all the hair products in the mail. So the first day. So for the first day, I'm really, really excited to try this out. This is a straightening brush. I feel like we've all seen this over Instagram, over like all social media. This was $24.99, which isn't too bad, but also it's a little up there. So I have 10 minutes to do my hair today, which I think is a pretty long time. Usually it only takes me like a few seconds to just like, boof, I'm done. Um, but hopefully this does not take longer than that. Because you know, we're testing this out for practicalness too, you know? We're not gonna spend an hour doing our hair every morning. Ooh, wow, this is a really heavy duty feeling. Oh my gosh, the brush is like silicone. It like doesn't even like bend. Probably because that's where like the heat comes. This is definitely not gonna brush my hair because normal bristles, you know, they like, bend around like craziness. This like does not bend, like at all. I was hoping I could skip brushing my hair with this, but I guess not. But before I brush my hair, I want to read the instructions so I can plug this in and get it heating up. It says for thick hair, go to 230. So I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug it in and hopefully this little bar right here will light up. It's a decently long cord, but I'm sitting really close to my wall plug in, so I'm all good. I don't need an extension cord. But I'm going to turn this on. That's actually not the on switch. I just flipped it back to where it was. This is actually the on switch. I'm going to have it heat up to 210. Oh, wow. You can definitely feel the bristles are definitely heating up. Ooh, interesting. I hope this really works. I never knew how many knots I had in my hair. We are ready. Let's see if it's hot. Oh, yeah, it's hot. I'm going to do the first piece. Just kind of go through my hair. Ooh, 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 it feels kind of odd. I'm gonna go throughout my hair and just run it through. It's pretty simple, you just gotta make sure it's getting all the way through. Like you can see the bristles sticking out of your hair. Does that make sense? So like your hair is really going through the bristles. 
<gasps> I'm like crying. Whoa, it's really painful. Whoa, I'm actually crying right now. Okay, I'm not trying to exaggerate, but like these bristles do not move. So it like, it yanks a lot. Woo, power through Fiona. Whoa, I look like the old Justin Bieber. No. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's really hard to get every single piece. Lord, honestly, you guys, it's already taken me 10 minutes and I've only done like, I'd say a quarter of my head. So I'm gonna be running super late today. Instead of fashionably late, it's hair late. Ha 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 ha. So after trying the straightener, literally I just was like, you know what, screw it, I'm putting my hair in a bun. I feel like a ballerina. Ooh. But it just, it really didn't work for my hair type. My hair type is pretty thick and it's slightly wavy and curly. So I just, it didn't work. So I can't even imagine if you have even slightly more curly hair, then I don't think this will work at all. I feel like it's more geared for already pretty straight hair because it just, it didn't work on me. So I'd say you're better off wishing for a straightener than a straightening brush. Second day. Oh wait, that's four. Second day. <laughs> and I'm gonna be trying out a shampoo brush. Ooh, actually, this is pretty sturdy. The bristles are decently rough. Like, they're not the softest. I just like really want to like just like massage my scalp right now. Oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's all I want to do is just like rub my head. Okay, I'm excited. So what you do is you take your shampoo and you drizzle it on the brush. You get your hair wet and then you start massaging your scalp so it helps stimulate hair growth. It helps just clean your scalp better so it's very clarified. It helps with dandruff. And it's just supposed to feel good like a head massage. But this feels so good. I'm gonna go rinse my head and I'm gonna repeat this a few times. So after I was done, I just towel dried it, but I only washed my hair twice, which is really, really good. Usually I wash my hair like at least five times to really get all the oil out of my hair, which may sound super excessive, but hey, that's what I do. But I only had to wash it twice, so I use less shampoo and my scalp feels so squeaky clean. Oh my gosh, you need this. Third day, wait, not third day. <laughs> you know those days where you just wake up and you're like, I don't wanna do anything? That's definitely one of those. I feel like every time you go to the airport, you're just like, <sighs> That was like supposed to be me sleeping, you know what I mean? It's very sleepy. But you still want your hair to look cute. You still want to look cute because usually when you're going on a flight or you're going somewhere, I feel like when you go anywhere, you're gonna bump into someone that you know and you probably want to look, you know, presentable. So I slept in braids tonight and I have a little, little surprise for my hair. So I ordered a lot of these headbands. I didn't even realize how many I just ordered, but hey, I did. I am gonna be wearing the red one today. It matches my suitcase, which I think is gonna look really cute. So we first have this right here, which is like the band. So I'm gonna put that on. And then we have this right here, which we're gonna tie right under here. Let's see how this works. Oh wait, hold up. That doesn't look very good. Maybe you're supposed to just tie it before you put it on your head. So I just tied it. It's very, very simple. I'm not even kidding. One of the easiest things you'll do at 5 a.m. Overall, I think it actually does look really cute and it will keep your hair from falling in your face while you're looking through your suitcase and panicking that you lost your phone because that happens to me every single time. I go to the airport. Anywho, what am I doing? I'm just 4 a.m., 5 a.m. actually, my bad. See, so like, I can't even think. No one's gonna be able to see my hair. There's no one, literally no one out, and it's dark, so like. <laughs> It will be light in like, you know, three hours. <laughs> it is now light out and everyone can see my cute little headband. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wow, that was smooth. Like my hair. <laughs> so I just realized that me and my bag, me and my bag, I feel like my bag is a person now. Um, but my headband and my bag match perfectly, which is really cute actually. I actually really like that. Um, and he wanted to point that out. This headband just works really well for a cute accessory to just washing your face and doing practical things. Fourth day. For the fourth day. For the fourth day. <laughs> Anywho, we have the Amplixen. Amplixen. Gosh, that's a very odd name. But what's really cool about it is it's made in the USA and it's cruelty free, which is really cool. So let me just read the directions and I will repeat them to you. It says to apply a liberal amount while your hair is wet and then you leave it in for three to five minutes and then rinse it out. So it's pretty much like a normal hair mask. Hopefully it does some wonders for my dry end. So let's get in the shower. May I just say the smell of this smells like kind of like an old rose. I'm not sure if I like that. 
but I'm just like lathering it in my hair. It feels so nice. It feels super conditioning. It kind of feels like creamy coconut oil. But yeah, I'm just really, really running it through the ends of my hair. So after leaving the hair mask in my hair for three minutes and rinsing it out, I am done. The bottom of my hair looks so shiny. This is gonna be my best friend. I'm totally gonna use this up and I probably will actually repurchase it. I feel like my hair has never looked this shiny at the bottom. Usually it's like dead at the bottom. Like it almost looks as shiny as my roots and you know, the roots is like the fresh part of your hair. So the hard to pronounce hair mask, I think Ampix is amazing. Day. Today is the day of the wedding. Well, it's actually like the wedding preparation day. So it's like the rehearsal wedding, whatever. It's pretty much the wedding. And today I'm gonna be using the Bedhead Wave Artist. This thing kind of looks like a, like a crimper. Like you like open it. Wait, I'm confused. But I just read the directions. So what you do, this is an obviously heated up PS. Um, but you start at the root of your hair and then you work your way down and it's supposed to give it a super beachy effect. It is heated up now. Let's do this. I'm going to start with the first piece. That looks so pretty. It's like a really nice wave. I really love how you can take big sections and just really hold it for like three seconds, each little like crimp and hold down. So that's actually really nice. It's much faster and it doesn't really hurt my arm because usually when I'm curling my hair, my arms get really sore. I feel like my hair looks really beachy. I really like this. I feel like it looks like almost I didn't do anything with my hair, but I did. This is pretty much like my natural curls, just like enhanced. I feel like this week was a really good success. It started out kind of rocky, but like that straightening brush was a no bueno for me. But really, everything else I'm really happy with. I'm gonna be using all these things so often. So definitely go check these items out. These are definitely worth wishing for. So thank you so much for watching and huggy huggies. I gotta go to a wedding. <laughs>